meaning, you know, experiences, connecting to people. That's important to me, above all. I like the impression that scent gives. When you walk into a room, I think it's the first thing that hits you. More than makeup, more than clothing, more than anything, I think that you smell someone and you will always remember that. You'll always remember that. Um, and that's, that's something I enjoy playing with. I enjoy playing with that with outfits. I enjoy you know, making your scent more nighttime, making your scent more daytime, changing it for the winter, changing it for the spring. Um, I enjoy it. It's, it's a, I think it's a really cool extension of who you are. Steven and Stuart, I mean, it's a dream team. You know, working with the people at Coach, they have been really, really magnificent. And I think Steven and I have done a really good job at um, making that materialize and being able to make it uh, his, you know, Stuart's vision into a physical form. Stuart is an amazing designer and he has a really young spirit. When you're around him, he's really sweet and kind, and his soul is is very open. Um, and I think that's really captured in the brand. And you know, you look at what we did for Met Ball and and uh, the outfit he created for the DNC, and and uh, the, you know the different times that we've collaborated with each other on on what we want to do and, and what I want to look like. And I'm happy to be able to have Stuart as my designer and to be his muse. New York will definitely, you know, don't underestimate it. It's like the ocean. Um, it'll eat you alive if you give it the chance. You just gotta keep swimming. When we shot the fragrance campaign, it was freezing cold. We were in Long Island. It was really, really freezing. I had flown in for 24 hours. Um, I had just finished shooting Neighbors 2, and I, the day before, I took all my extensions out, I cut my hair, and I was like, I wonder what they're gonna think. Like, I changed everything about me. <laughs> and I showed up at the fragrance shoot, and they were like a, completely obsessed with the look. And I had to wear this cute little dress, and it was about like 50 degrees. And it was great though, it was fun. The energy was in the air, and we all wanted to do something special together. Steven and I had never shot together. The fragrance campaign was new for Coach, and so we were all just wanting to do something different, and it felt really fresh. You enjoy the thrill, you enjoy that rush, you enjoy, you know, being on the edge of your seat and, you know, walking around the city at 4 a.m. You know, it, it's just a different vibe. It's, it's special, it's super special. My mom and I smell my grandma still. She had this one scent that she wore her whole life, um, and scent has been a really big deal in my family, in my life, and my mom, when we were younger, uh, my mom, this is getting really dark, but my mom was diagnosed with cancer, and I remember um, the smell on her clothing. <laughs> yeah. So scent was a big deal. Yeah, still is. I got really dark really quickly. That was big. Yeah. <laughs> you suck. You totally suck up on me with that. You're not behind the wheel of a car, but you're you're behind the wheel of your life. You know, you're able to to choose your direction and, 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 and choose the people. And you can have these beautiful experiences with people in New York literally for one night that you just all meet and it all happens and you might never see them again, but it's it's special and specific to New York. It's it's a very sensual scent, surprisingly, because it feels very light and airy, but the musk and kind of that leathery smell that that stays when it dries gives you this this real femininity that I think comes with the coach girl. It hits you with like light freedom, soft, airy, but then it curves you and it's like, but there's something deeper there and there's there's something raw and, and organic and, and real there. It's an exciting scent. You know, my mom wore it the other day um, and every time you wear it, you get so many compliments on it, you genuinely do. It's interesting, it's cool. You, you know, people always ask like, oh, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? And I'm like, it's coach. It's funny, because it's my face, but I do like the scent. <laughs> I genuinely enjoy it. <laughs> and I am just really proud to be able to say that, you know, I'm the face of a brand that I really like.
Anyway, I'm also very excited about The Little Mermaid, and everybody's been talking about it, but everyone's been talking about the hair color. It's the big controversy. It is a big controversy. I know. Did you expect, like, that ridiculous No. I literally just said it in passing. I wasn't even, like, being super meaningful about it. I was like, I don't even know what it's gonna be. Yeah, I mean, it could be blue for all question, I know. Yeah. I don't even know what. It was just like, it was with you when you answered that question. It was just a, like it a was, throwaway comment. It was a comment. throwaway comment. Like, I did not even think about it. But it shows me anything about what I'm saying because a lot of people care. So, you know, I mean, I, I talk, I, I did, I spoke out of turn, and I, I don't even know. You know, we're we're, we're hiring our director pretty soon, and, and once uh, we're able to release that, you know, we're gonna powwow and figure out exactly what we want our Little Mermaid to look like and be like, and, and whatever else. But so. blonde. Brown, purple, purple any, blue. any color. Who knows? Any we color. Don't know. She's we don't know. Chloe, I could have Chloe's no hair. I could have so much hair. The bald little mermaid. We don't I know. I give a pixie cut. Mermaid. The bald mermaid. Because <laughs> that's well, realistic. <laughs> well, I also heard it's going to be kind of a closer to the Hans Christian Andersen yes. version. So is, does that mean it's going to be like a darker version? Um, I mean, again, I don't want to like, I don't want to say things out of turn. Um, but you know, I think that we're definitely going to take a more naturalistic view. Um, on it, you know, like the book, mm -hmm. and keep it keep it a bit more grounded, keep it a bit more realistic, but also make it a real heroine story, make it a true story for young women to look at now and be proud of, because that's, you know, my main my main goal.